This is an MRE and it's the only thing I'm gonna be eating for the next seven days. How do you even open this thing? Is that Reese's? Yo, it's got Reese's pieces in it, bro. In case you don't know what an MRE is, it's a meal ready to eat in their military rations used by the army. It's basically pre-made food designed to last five to 10 years stuffed into a bag. This is the type of thing that I'm gonna be eating for the next week, bro. I feel like I'm eating cat food. <laughs> Why? Why was it necessary? Despite my seemingly high morale, that's all about to change because throughout this challenge, I'm only going to be allowed to eat items from these MREs and I'm only allowed to have two per day. And throughout this next week, we're going to see how these MREs affect me both mentally and physically as I push myself to the limits in this one week challenge. Let's get started. For dinner tonight, we have cheese tortellini in tomato sauce. <laughs> Yo, vanilla pudding dessert powder, something labeled crackers straight up cardboard, but you know, it's fine. All these MREs come with multiple items other than just the main course, which would help me stay filled throughout the day. Trail mix. There's instant coffee in here. This right here is the thing that we use to actually heat up our food. Hello everyone. I'd like to welcome you to my presentation on how to cook an MRE. Step one, you want to add water. Step two, bag get warm. I'm supposed to say gets. Do not overfill. I don't know if it's gonna straight up explode if that happens or what, but I'm not gonna overfill. There's a chance I may have overfilled. There we go. There's our cheese and crackers. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and give this a try. It looks good enough for me to eat. I'm not going to complain. It's pretty much Chef Boyardee. Overall, our first dinner of the challenge was actually pretty good, but that gave me a false sense of hope for the rest of the challenge. It does taste like vanilla pudding. The challenge might not be quite as bad as I thought. I quickly learned I couldn't eat all my food at once because going to bed that night, I was extremely hungry. Okay, I'm battling an urge that I figured I would probably run into. I really want a snack right now. Night one was really diminishing my morale. Not only was I really hungry, but the food also didn't really sit right. Hash brown potatoes with bacon and onions. We have a return of the crackers, dehydrated granola with milk, dry roasted peanuts, brand raspberry flavored first strike nutritious energy bar. After figuring out what I would have for breakfast, it was time to make some coffee. There we go. That's our bag of coffee right there. Next up, we had to heat up our meal. I'm gonna add all of this in there. Boom, there's the inside of our granola. That's pretty good, actually, though. Well, we have coffee, I guess. So this is creamer. Maybe not the most appetizing coffee I've ever had. It's not bad. I'm on, I'm on board with this, honestly. That looks all right. It looks no worse than something you'd get at Taco Bell, so I'm not upset. It's definitely not hot. Our first MRE of the day wasn't actually that bad, and then I had my snack. Kind of tastes like an Arrowhead, but not as sweet. It's not bad. And after that, it was time for our second dinner of the challenge. All right, it is now time for dinner. It's only day two on my fourth MRE, and I can already tell that this challenge is going to be extremely difficult. All right, so for dinner, we have ourselves some pizza sliced pepperonis. Yo! Chocolate drink protein powder. Cheese spread with jalapenos. I assume that is our sauce. Vegetable crackers. We have an oatmeal cookie for dessert. This is the pepperoni pizza with cheese sauce. Whoa, hang on a second. That is our cherry cobbler. So if that's the cherry cobbler, then this pizza has actually got everything already on it. Taste test time. It's basically a piece of bread with some sauce and cheese on it. I'm gonna make this protein powder. Let's shake this thing up. If I drink this and it's like brownie batter, that's gonna be the highlight of my year. It's very thick. It's better than a lot of the chocolate protein powders that I've had previously to this. Try out the cobbler. Ugh, not a fan. That is our oatmeal cookie. Now that is fire, baby. See, what I didn't know at this point was that that was gonna be one of the best MREs I would have this whole time. All right, a little late night snack action. Definitely gonna have cracker in my bed tonight. It's fine. Despite the challenge having a somewhat easy beginning, I was starting to feel mentally drained already. To ease my mind at the start of day three, I decided to have coffee in school. I just got into school and it's time to eat some lunch. For lunch, we have a chicken burrito bowl, apple cinnamon first strike bar. Nice. We got cheese spread. There we go. We got our recovery trail mix once again. Nice. We got tortillas. There's our food. Looks pretty good. Here's burrito number one of two. Give it a bite. 
That's really good. <laughs> that is really good. I'm pretty sure that this is the most like normal food that I've had out of any of these so far. I could have been inside eating with my friends, but no. Instead, I had to eat an MRE, which I didn't even want to eat. Day three so far, not too bad. I can already tell you I'm sick of this. I don't know what changed between lunchtime and now. I want to be done already, and I still have four more days. Until then, we have ourselves some beef ravioli and meat sauce, wheat snack bread, chocolate banana nut muffin top. We have our cheese spread and some normal people food. We got some M&Ms. Best before January 1st, 2020. Overall, MRE number six was pretty much the same as the rest of them. It'll do. It's not terrible. Pretty bad and nothing special. So dry. <laughs> now going into day four, my schedule is a little weird. I bet this is the first time an MRE's ever been made in school. <laughs> yep, that's right. That's me making an MRE in school. This might have been the strangest experience of my entire life. No joke. It's actually not bad, not bad at all. All right, I just got out of school. Also in this MRE, there is the cherry blueberry cobbler again. We have a teriyaki beef stick. We haven't had that yet. Woohoo! A chocolate chip cookie and Italian breadsticks. I've never had a beef stick in my life, so this is gonna be new to me. Give it a taste. That's not what I was expecting. It's basically an uncooked hot dog. There we go. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. This marks the 50% way through the challenge mark, which sounds literally just depressing. As the challenge went on, I was beginning to get more and more tired of it, and there were still three and a half days left to go. Spaghetti with beef and sauce sounds pretty decent. Not only that, but when I was making my food, I could only get it lukewarm. I still could not figure out how to cook these things and make them hot. Seasons? We have more Italian breadsticks, grape jelly, and peanut butter. I assume that's to go on this chocolate chip toaster pastry, so that's hype. Since I still had my cobbler from lunch, I decided to heat that up with our meal. Got my spaghetti in a bag. Ew. <laughs> then she decided to try the breadsticks. Ew, that's not <laughs> This is all right. All right, so we have our chocolate chip cookie that we got from our lunch. Cool. Oh, dude. That is like, I never have started this challenge. Then I ate the cobbler and it was on to day number five. And little did I know, this would be one of the hardest days of this entire challenge. Time to have our MRE4 lunch. Day number five, we're going into a creamy spinach fettuccine. I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a rough meal. Now, if you thought part one was bad, wait till part two where it gets even worse. Click here to watch it or watch this video if it's not out yet.